Hi, this is Professor Angela Rasmussen from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Utah. Today I want to go over the early voltage. So the goal here is to understand how the early voltage affects current. So we want to first look at normal current flow. And so remember the nonlinear equation for current, IC, and then the relationships in the different active and saturation mode results in this graph here, where we see the nonlinear area. And then here, it, it is a flat region. This is the ideal current flow. Unfortunately, there is internal called parasitic effects, where instead of having that flat line, where we would want a flat line here, these are going to have a slope to them. So it is an unwanted effect. And if we have, if we draw all of these slopes that instead of being flat, there's actually the slope to it, they will converge at this point out here called a at minus VA. That is called the early voltage. So the early voltage is an unwanted effect due to the actual physical properties of the BJT. A common value is 20 volts for this value. And how this affects the current then, instead of being flat during the active region, we have a slope. And so in our current equation here, it is actually one plus VCE over VA, where now the function of current is not just a factor of the base, but it will also be a factor of the collector. We don't um, account for this in hand analysis, but when you simulate the BJT, you will see some differences in currents than you expect. One of them could be because of this early effect. In the small signal AC, the early effect will um, factor in, and so there'll be a resistance for what is seen in the AC, which will alter, alter our current flow in the AC also. All right, thank you for watching.